In this first Descendant video, I bring you a complete guide on what in my opinion is the fastest way for players to get those crystallization catalysts. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I've been basically farming for these since day one, well, well not day one, it's probably a lie, day two or three maybe, and I've gone across every single farm the quickest way to get said materials to get these crystallization catalysts now this is an enhancement material in the first descendant it's used to change the module socket type on weapons and descendants so it's a very very important item and getting these in the quickest efficient way is probably something many many people are chasing and looking for now I myself am exactly the same which is why I've tried to find the best possible ways to farm said things and that's what I believe I am bringing you guys today. Now to research the crystallization catalyst upon having all the said materials to do so requires 7 odd hours but the materials required to do so is what this video is all about. Now when you apply these you need to keep this in mind too uh, on your descendant it will reset your level back to a 1 and this is the same on weapons too once you apply one of these once you apply one of these socket types into your weapon it will drop that weapon's proficiency back down to a level 1 I mean you'll have to completely re-level up your character and your weapon to get the most out of it so do keep that in mind too okay so the actual crystallization catalyst requires you to have eight murky energy residues 22 macromolecule biogels eight mixed energy residues 18 advanced neural circuits and the crystallization catalyst blueprint in this video i bring you what in my opinion is the best and quickest ways to farm said materials making this fast and efficient for yourself so let's start guys i'm going to start with a murky energy residues these require you to have eight of them so here guys a couple of runs of the forgotten in regards to the restricted zone area within the sterile lands this is the mission at the bottom right couple of runs of this guys i mean i believe it only drops from the elite halfway through but you actually if you want to reset the mission or abort it you have to go back to albion first it's one of those annoying ass missions but it's probably the best i've seen so far and experience so far in regards to getting these murky energy residues so if i were you may as well just finish the mission and just restart it from there but yes guys a couple of runs of this and should have what you need next up guys we have the macro molecule bio gels and these you need 22 of it in total now the best way to do these guys are the echo swamp zone recon missions in a derelict covert and the muskeg swamp areas now you can just rotate back and forth between these two teleporting from one area to the other once you complete one and teleport to the other area and, and teleport back it normally resets it so teleporting from one to the other after you completing these guys should reset the zone recon missions and upon you doing this a couple of well three or four times guys you should have as much as you need it's as simple as that so next up guys we have the mixed energy residues these guys you need eight half in total now for those who don't have the ultra precision analyzers i think since the last update the best way to get these is from the agna desert region the vermilion waste area using the mission of the baggage transport base now loading this up guys and taking out these enemies since the latest patch they have been added into the loot pool of certain enemies and elites and this is where i personally had my most luck i tried more or less every and I mean every mission across this region and this was by far the best place and I had the most luck from I mean I think it took me about four or five runs of this to get exactly how much I needed so yeah do keep that in mind but in my opinion it's definitely the best place you can run this okay so next up guys we need 18 of the advanced neural circuits the best place I found for these is the borderline of truth mission upon the white knight gooch within the mountain top area you can run this mission in sub 2 minutes easily on that normal mode and get 5 plus per time as within this mission there are 3 elites that spawn in all dropping multiple of these advanced neural circuits so it won't take you long at all guys to get these. And then lastly guys we have the crystallization catalyst blueprint. Now with this there are multiple ways to 
get this. Me personally, I go for the uh, Morpheus Pattern 43. This drops from the Hagios Haven mission and it's a 100% drop rate. You can run this mission in about six minutes. And then I use this uh, Amorphous Pattern 43, enter the void, intercept boss fight of the Swamp Walker. On that normal mode, which I absolutely slay him, I won't say slay him, that's a bit over the top here, yeah? but I mean I take him out quite easily and you get a 15% drop chance of getting this blueprint when you use a reconstructed device after taking out this void boss. Now this for me, I had the most luck in doing this, but I completely understand many many players are nowhere near the stage of the game yet, I mean yes, fair enough, people ain't at hard mode yet. I mean, not everybody sweats this game out 24 hours a day, so people are still struggling on earlier bosses, uh, specifically the Pyromaniac, who's a bit of a pain in the ass. But either or, there's ways to get these way before this point. And a few of the ones I've had most luck with is the Amorphous Pattern 23 and then taking on the Dead Bride. And now this is quite an easy one to come across. With it having a 100% drop rate from the chapel mission within the derelict culvert area within Echo Swamp, this is a great mission to run. If you're in a team, you can run it pretty quickly and you get a 100% chance of getting this amorphous pattern to drop. And therefore then guys, you can go ahead and use this at the Dead Bride. Take her out, she's an easy early game boss to take out and yeah, have a 15% chance of getting this blueprint. There's also guys the Amorphous Pattern 03 which has a 100% drop chance from the Kingston mission of Slumber Valley within the Grand Square area. You can then go on to use this Amorphous Pattern at the Gravewalker boss on that normal mode who is the earliest boss in the game to take out so there's no real excuse there and again you still get a 15% drop chance of this blueprint. Stunning Beauty we have here you can use the Amorphous Pattern 09 with her uh, this has a 100% drop chance from the Stereo Land mission of the Forgotten within the restricted zone area this is the same mission we used earlier to farm that murky energy residue again this Amorphous Pattern can be used once you have it within the Stunning Beauty boss on that normal mode again a, quite a walk in the park boss to do uh, well not early early game but it is quite early game guys but hey there's plenty of opportunities here for you to get the crystallization catalyst blueprint there's plenty of amorphous patterns you can use from various different missions that you can indeed farm and go on to use at them certain void intercept bosses again for me personally i had the most luck within the haven mission which again is the 100 percent drop rate on the hagius uh, uh, this is the amorphous pattern 43 which you then go on to use on the swamp walker but again like i said i understand that everybody's going to be at this stage in the game yet but there we have it guys multiple ways to get the blueprint and the easiest farms to get the other required materials to craft yourself the crystallization catalyst which again is an enhancement material in the first descendant used to change and apply those module sockets to your weapons and your descendants meaning you can then guys put in the corresponding modules and it halves required capacity slots on these modules which means you can then therefore apply more modules to make yourself even stronger so yeah cool guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one